Welcome students to module 402, Grade Management. I have opened up on my screen a grade sheet with a table that is labeled by student name, all their grades by the homework, quiz 1, 2, and 3, 4, tests 1 and 2, and here we are going to fill in data for the weighted average, unweighted average, and their grade. We're going to use functions such as sum, average, and the lookup functions. First thing that I want to do is sort out this student list alphabetically. So I right click on my column header on students, scroll down to sort, and option 8 to Z. And my students are now arranged alphabetically from A to Z, A, B, D, and K. We are going to click on the auto sum button on the drop down arrow or we're going to click on average and yes we're going to choose the average from columns B2 all the way to H2 and press enter and it tells me that students grade for the entire class year if I move down to the bottom right corner of the cell I see that little black cross click on it and drag and the average function spreads down to the remaining cells. I am going to use that same function down here for the class average. I click on column B7, drop down arrow from AutoSum, average, from B2 all the way to B5. We can change that number from B2 to B5 and press enter. This function now gives me the class average for the homework for all the students. Once again if I move to the bottom right corner to the black cross and drag it in, I get the average of everything. So I see the average for quiz 1 is 70 for the whole class, class average for quiz 2 is 57 and so on. The next operation that we are going to do is find the weighted average for each student for all the corresponding assignments. For that we have to refer back to this weighing table in which the homeworks are worth 20%, the quiz 10%, and the tests 20%. In order to use these when we apply it in the formula, instead of writing 20% we have to write it as decimal. So 20% would be 0.2, 10% would be 0.1 and so on. Here is how we are going to do it. We are going to go up to my function line and I am going to write the following. From column B2, a homework, I am going to multiply it by 20%. So multiply it by Point 0.2. Close parentheses. And I'm going to add C2 and I'm going to multiply it since it's a quiz by 10% or point 0.1. I'm going to do the same thing for D2, E2 and F2. Once I am done I click enter and it gives me the grade for that corresponding student. If I click back on that cell to the bottom right corner where I see the black cross, this is the fill handle, just drag it down and I get the weighted average for every single student. Now if I take once again down in my class average the fill handle and move it to the right, it gives me the class average for the weighted average. The last function that we are going to use is the lookup function which is going to tell the computer three things. We're going to look at the weighted average, so in this column. We're going to tell the computer to look at this student's grade, find it in this grading scale, and give us back the corresponding letter grade. That is what the lookup function is going to do. It's going to take three variables. The student's average, 
the information of the grading scale and return the letter grade. So let's get to it. More functions. Look up. And we see down here in the drop down menu we have our lookup function and we choose OK. And yes, we're going to tell them lookup value, lookup vector, and result vector. This is the one that we want, the one that takes three variables. So I am going to tell the computer to do the following thing. I am going to look up J2. I am going to tell the computer to look it up in this scale. And I am going to tell the computer to return one of these corresponding letter grades. Press OK. And I see that the students with a 41.9% average is the equivalent of having an F. 41 is between 0 and 60, so the corresponding grade is F. This is correct. If we drag the fill handle, it gives me the corresponding letter grades for the rest of the students' averages.